All right. Hi, guys. It is a super nice freaking day. So during this video, if you hear all of the critters and creatures outside and bugs, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Um, what was I going to... Oh, my name is Taz. If you're new here, welcome. Um, if you're not new, welcome back. I like, forgot what I was going to say there for a second. But anyways, today we have a gift from my mom. We don't know what it is, so we're going to open that up. And then we have plant fairy, rare plant fairy mail. Did I just give away my address? I did I cut that out? I kind of gave away my address there, so I have to cut that out. We're just gonna. Anyways, so we have mail, which I'm really excited about this. So I might just open it first and uh, get it out of the way. And I really want to see what's in here. So it's packaged all secretive and like protected with extra humidity dome. So I'm wondering if it's like a more delicate anthurium. I don't know. I'll have to look up specifically later. And then we have stuff moved in there. Awkward. That's never a good sign. Now it is from Equigenera. Oh, I know I said I wasn't going to do that again. But I did, I did. Now I've been sick lately, so I'm like just not feeling great. So I might just look atrocious today, but I'm just sweaty, I'm hot, I'm cold, I'm dizzy, I just feel like shit, I'm on antibiotics. My husband has COVID, pretty sure I do too now. It's like a whole thing and I just feel miserable, but plants don't wait for you to feel better. So here we are. And I wanted to show, because I haven't done a unboxing in a while, so it's been, it's been it's been a bit, hasn't it? So let's do that. So why do my arms look so big today? I look so beefy. I swear they're not that big in real life. <laughs> Anyways, let's stop staring at yourself, Taz. You're you're being ridiculous. Also, I need to look there. Okay, we're this whole video. I'm gonna look there, and I'm not gonna look at myself. Okay, if I every time I look away. I will, I don't know. I'm not going to punish myself because I just don't have the energy for that today. So I don't have any snacks today. No, that's not really going to happen. But let's open our rare plant fairy. Um, I think that's the name. Yeah, everyone orders from here. So we all know who they are. Uh, but I wanted to get it out of the way because there is something very cute in here that I'm excited to see how it did. Now, it's not super rare or anything. It's not super expensive or anything. I just personally really like the look of this specific plant. So don't be all, oh, it's going to be amazing. No, it's just a normal, cute plant, and I, I'm, I'm excited for it. So look, they pack it so nicely. You can see I'm going to move the name so it's a secret right now. But they do pack it quite nicely. So um. Let me know if you've ordered from them before. I'd be curious to know. <clears throat> we do have a trash box here. My husband's shoe box. Or like trash and stuff. So. <laughs> More for Equa. I'm on like a fluffy blanket too. So it's going to get all dirty. That's okay. All right, let's open this. Misty, ew, stop it. She's eating a fly. Mm -hmm. Misty, no. Eat the fly quietly. Eat it quietly. Thank you. All right. Oh, I feel horrible. I think my mom is sick now too, so. We were all together yesterday at my, and we did not know my husband was sick until today. So just before anybody, well, why did you go? So just, uh, we were all at the open house yesterday, so hopefully my husband didn't get everyone there sick. But he didn't know until today that he wasn't feeling good, and neither did we, so. And I hear it's been going around, so. That kind of makes me feel a little shit, but we'll see. Oh, I can't look. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh! Oh, it's so cute. I can't, I can't even handle it. <laughs> I feel even more dizzy now. I'm like sweating. Oh, I'm like getting all hot. Oh, it's so pretty. Stop. 
Oh my god, it arrived. Like I said, it's not an exciting play. Don't get excited. I'm excited. Okay, I'm excited. But... Oh. I'm shaking too, sorry. That is so pretty. <gasps> Look at this half and half. Just to take it in. Take it in. Look at that coloring. You know that's pretty. I bought it all by myself. My mom didn't get it. It was on me. Look, it's you obviously already figured out what it was. Alocasia, Bambina or Bambina. Bambino, it's an Aurea. A30. Nice, I like their little tag too, it's cute. But yeah, so I will, like I do with most of my plants that arrive, I'll probably unbox him or leave him in here for like a couple days in my cabinet. I really wanna see if this corms. I wonder if they rifle through it before they ship. It is a little loose, so I wouldn't be surprised. If, I don't think they do that though. Some places, especially if you purchase from Etsy shops, they're sneaky. They like go through and get the corms out first, which that's some shady shit. I'm just saying. No offense. No offense. But like a lot of offense, because why do that? You know? Anyways, it's killed so many of our plants we've ordered because people have done that. But that's okay. I just want to take this off and take a peek. Just a little, 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 little peek, a little squiz. Ew, it's so messy. I don't like that. He's absolutely stunning. Please, plant gods, do not let me kill this plant. Do not let me kill this plant. If you love me, do not let me kill this plant. Just, just let it survive for me. I love it. Um, yeah, I'll be curious to see. It does look pretty loose in here. Ooh, there's some nice white roots. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was rifled through. But again, I don't think that the shop does that. So I, I could be very wrong. I could be very wrong. But I'm going to actually go set it in the cabinet just so it can adjust coming out of the box and then I'll deal with it later. It might need a little bit of water too, but I'll be right back. All right, so he is in my cabinet up there. Yeah, up there. He's, um, you typically don't wanna put your plants straight up in your cabinet right away, just in case there's pests. But I am running uh, those uh, cleaner pests in there too, so it should, it should collect or kill anything that's on there. And I don't think a shop as popular as them would have pests. You don't know that for sure, but I'm gonna say I'm, I'm pretty, pretty comfortable and like, okay, not like watching it. That made no sense. I'm sorry, my head is so fuzzy. I'm trying, I'm trying you guys. Like I said, this has to get done. So even if I want to go rest, I can't. And then I have to get my planters out, which I haven't done for a couple days because I was feeling so sick that I just didn't want to do anything except sit on my couch. So I can't even catch my breath. I feel like I was like that last year too when I got sick. Just so run down. But this is, so this is the one my mom brought that she got. Uh, she also got a box from Aqua. This one she won free. I believe, or is it tropicals? One of the two, tropicals, tropicals. She got this one for free. Now my pappy back there, if you can see it, my big beauty, uh, if you saw on Instagram, I posted it yesterday, it's leaf, I think I broke its leaf. Um, that one came to me free from Aqua as well because I want it in a draw, a raffle. So this is how she got this. Ooh, oh, ooh. Oh my God, I love this leaf. Hang on, hold up. Wait a minute. I just don't know. 
The name doesn't make sense to me, so I, I'm confused about the name. Hang on, I'll say the name in a second here too. It says Anthurium Black Velvet Pan. Like a, ooh, wow, that's a hard leaf. Okay, that's really pretty. It's got this like hard, um, when I say hard, it's not like the usual, like a queen, but like harder than a queen leaf. If you've felt a queen leaf, it's got a pretty strong, like pressured leaf. This one feels a lot harder. God, it's pretty. Oh, I really like this. Look, up close. Uh, of course, it's a lot more green in the camera. I'm looking at it. It's a lot darker here. It's a lot more... I want to say... I don't know what color I would say. It's like a dark moss. Like a really dark moss. I don't know. It's so pretty. I wonder if I should shove them in the bucket. Should I put them in the bucket? Oh, yeah, see, look, look at the bucket right there. My mom brought me that too. She's like, I don't know what it is, but it's really big and I, I just don't have a planter for it. So you can have it. <laughs> okay. I also don't know if I have a planter for it, but give it to me. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> don't worry. Oh, here, you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just removing the moss pretty used to doing this now. Now if you get a plant from one of these places where they arrive in moss and you have your little cup, if you just take a little two ounce shot cup or glass, fill it with fresh water, pour it in here, the moss will sit, soak it up pretty good and then just let it sit like that for a couple days and then you can replant it. Just to be sure that, you know, the plant doesn't get overly stressed. I'm used to doing it like this and the acclimation process, I'm pretty com comfortable with it afterwards. So I'm not too stressed about um, giving it time to adjust before replanting. But if you're not very comfortable with it and you're a little nervous, you could always do that. Just let the, the moss soak up a little bit of fresh water. And then, and then, uh, yeah, what I was saying, hang on. Now, all of these next plants are really big. I think they're all pretty big. I had my um, list somewhere, but they should have the list in here too. But yes, like I said, I wasn't going to get a plant from Equo again. I did. They were very pretty. And the last order I got from them, the plants are fine. My big boy's up here. My Equa Genera Queen is stunning. I actually took a video of it yesterday. I'm going to post it today, I think. Um, so if you haven't seen that, go look. My Pallidiflorum is doing great. My Bessier doing great. So I was like, you know what? Let's take a risk again. And my two big, uh, Pallies here, hang on. My mom brought me her boxes because I use the stuffing. But you see those two big, uh, philodendron there? Uh, they are, they are also... Uh, from them and I quite like I quite like them so I love them actually um, what is that it's a biscuit bag why is there a biscuit I don't know let's just pretend it's not there it's, you know is that very aesthetically pleasing that doesn't help we'll just it's okay it doesn't help either <laughs> all right we good so let's open this I'm very excited. I am a little bit nervous, but the weather here has been so good. They've just been traveling for quite a bit. They did leave. I forget what day they left, but then they got to their first location and then they shipped from there two day shipping and it came one day later than I thought it would. It was supposed to come yesterday. That's not really going to make a difference, but I was kind of uh, expecting it yesterday. So if you've never heard of Aquagenera, that's their logo. Um, they have a bunch of different Instagrams. 
Um, I follow the Equigenera Arcea, Arcea. I, sorry if I'm butchering that, probably am, but <clears throat> that's the one I personally follow and do their live sales when I can. All right, let's see. So we do have our list here. <gasps> I forgot what's in here. <gasps> How did it fit? They for sure had to have folded leaves because this box should have been a lot bigger. So now I'm scared, unless it looked so much bigger on the screen. But this should not hold all of this. So now I'm extra sweaty. I'm not actually sweating. I feel like it. You know when you get like, um, what's the word? Hot flashes kind of. It's like that. Like that's just like, ugh. I feel like I'm melting a little bit. But I'm, uh, now I'm a little bit stressed. And for anyone that's, well, Echo Genera, I've never had a problem. You know, they're, they're, the plants are fine. You, don't, you complain too much. I'm sorry that I complain a lot. But like, I have a certain expectation I hold for plants that arrive. And lately they've done really well, but when they don't, I'm going to say they didn't do a good job because they didn't. It's, it's not me lying. It's just the truth. <laughs> like I pack plants. I know how they should arrive, especially overseas. That's a little different, obviously, but ooh, you are pretty, but you are rotting a little bit. Hopefully we can revive you or keep your, these two leaves are absolutely, I got it because of this leaf. It's very spiritous to me, which is maybe why it has this. They seem to rot really fast on their journey over here, which is probably what happened, honestly. So I, I kind of already knew that would happen, especially if I tried another spiritus from them. If you've been watching my journey with my spiritus trying to get one, I got two um, really big ones and they are both arrived dead on two separate occasions like literally complete mush rot the whole the whole deal so i was very defeated by that and very upset by that um but will these look a little rotten hang on yeah okay the stem is still hard so that's But like, just so you can see. Like this is all ripped and torn. I don't know if you can see that. See, look. So it's rot, it's rotting. But this stem of my spiritus's were like soft. These ones are hard. So Theoretically, we should be able to get it to root again somewhere else, but it's going to be scary. I might just put it in a pond, put it in my cabinet and try to get it to revive because I really, really, really like this. I really, really, really like this. I'm trying not to like it too much because I will genuinely be sad if it dies. These are all rotten. It's okay. That's okay. We got this. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. Let me put it in the bucket. You might be thinking, why do I put it in a bucket of water when I just said it is rotten? Because it traveled a long way. So even though it is rotten, the moss is, it's damp, but it just kind of helps it recover a little bit, I've noticed. And I will put like a microbial, a microbial, a microbe, um, uh, liquid in there that helps kind of restore it a little bit. Let me just make sure we have the name for this one. So this is called an Yvonne Spirit. Very cool. It's funny, I got this one and I stole it from the girl above me and she had asked to see it and I didn't know that so I quickly bid on it and then I felt so bad. I was like, oh my gosh, give it to her, give it to her. I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't see that you had asked and then she's like, it's a fine. Like, I don't care. That's the whole point of this thing. And then they whipped out a bigger one and she bit on it. It was phenomenal. Like it was three times the size and only like $20 more. And it was gorgeous. I was like, Ooh, hell yeah, girl. 
get it. It was like gorgeous, gorgeous. But just so I know how to name them afterwards, I'm just gonna show the tag. So that, cause I will forget and I'm not gonna try and attach it to it right now. But I think I know what this one is. I'm not gonna show you, but I don't know how they fit it in here. So I'm honestly, yeah, I'm honestly skeptical. They're a lot smaller than I thought they were on these. Oh, not this one. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one makes sense. That one, not so much. Yeah. But yeah, so... I'm a little bummed about it rotting. I am happy the stem is okay. In my head, I'm debating putting it directly in pond or putting it in a glass of water for a couple days and just seeing, cutting off the dead stuff and, and seeing if we can um, get a little more bounce back. I'm not sure, but. So we have here a little queen. I have a couple right now that are getting ready to go to uh, get ready to be listed. They're so pretty, but I, I they take forever to show me roots. So I, it takes so much longer to get them listed, but this will be another one that will get listed. That's a massive queen there, by the, <laughs> by the way. I'll show you at the very end. Actually, I showed you in the beginning of the video, or I'll put it at the end. My mom arrived with it, and I videoed it, so. Anybody can oh, see them care. anyways. I don't have a pot Let's see. so big for that. That is oh. a massive <gasps> That's, I think that's the Equigenera queen. Oh my God. I can't no, even this get this door is, open. Got you got it? Ready? One, two, three, go. Let's see. I don't know, Tess. I don't have a pot big enough. So I bought it for you. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> look at this thing. It's oh so my. beautiful. It's around. Oh. It's, look at those roots. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my God. I don't have a pot for that. It was $90. But I don't know what to do with it now. <laughs> But I'm never ever drinking again and ordering. Oh, I love it. I mean, never. Let's see what else we have. Isn't that cute? So this is the freebie that I got. I don't even know what it is. It must be expensive with a packet like that. No. Let's see. Oh no. I don't know. We'll open that. I'll put it out here and open it on here. If you want. I just ordered six or something. Oh my God, Mom. Isn't it cute? Yes. Let's see it. That one though. Show me that leaf. This one. That gorgeous. So That's pretty. gorgeous. Look at those roots, man. He's happy. And he's not yellowing. I just don't have a pot. Do you have a pot? But this queen is so cute. Work one them. I should look up how to say everything correctly so that I'm actually pronouncing things the way they should be pronounced. But this guy's got some moisture still in here, so I'm not gonna put him in the bucket of water. I'm gonna just keep him in in this little like bucket that my other plant came in and just let him chill for a minute here with me. But yeah, he's super pretty. I will say Aqua gives out really nice queens. Um, and I don't put mine in a cabinet right away. Mine are out on the shelf. I don't know if you can, oh, you can't see it, but I have a couple that they didn't go in. I had two, three, uh, get stressed during shipping. <laughs> Sorry, I got hiccups. And um, I will say, and this, I'm hoping this, don't take me at this advice uh, yet. I will do an update on it because I found it very interesting myself. But I took the queens, which I would never do with any other anthurium, okay? I just want that to be clear. But I was like, you know what? I know queens pretty well by now. I'm going to try this. Um, and I put the queen that was shuddering, uh, struggling. Three of them. This is three, so it's not just one, and it was a fluke. I put the three queens that were struggling in a self-watering setup with a mixture of flu stratum, stratum and um, pond picked right up. They are hard again. Their leaves are hard again. They're not curled. They are happy in it, which I might show a video. Uh, um, maybe I'll, if I don't, because then I'm, I lied. If you don't see it here, I lied and they're actually doing bad now, but I will put a little video here of them in the other cabinet in this mixture and you can kind of see what I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you don't see it, I will probably write on here that it's dead or something. But, ooh, okay. Let's 
So this is a philodendron Amazon spirit. I wonder if I, I don't have one. You look like a spirit to safety. I love you. We can be best friends forever. Please don't die. Please don't die. I'm sorry. It's so weird. Look at this new leaf. Please continue to grow for me. Beautiful and strong, okay? Beautiful and strong for me, okay? You guys, that is the prettiest leaf I have ever seen in my whole life. And you guys are like, it's just a green leaf. No, it is the perfect green leaf ever to be cre ever to be created. I'm so weird. I'm so I love it so much. If you don't have reactions like this with your plants, <laughs> you're wrong. You're wrong. You're not a real plant person if you don't react like this <laughs> when I'm packaging a plant. You're wrong. Okay, I'm right. I'm I'm the right one here. Actually, I'm not weird. This is a normal thing. It's a normal reaction. I know it. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Look, I'm gonna like try and get a picture of it without the box behind, without the yucky biscuit bag. <laughs> but look. Oh my god, I'm I'm literally obsessed with it. I I just I cannot. Ugh. I'm so desperate for a big spirit of sanity that like any plant that looks similar that I can get my hands on, I have been. That's a spiritus cross. Um, this is a spiritus cross. The other one was a spiritus cross. <sighs> that one there is a spirit. I have so many spiritus crosses because I'm so fucking obsessed with getting my hands on just a decent spiritus that doesn't cost me my firstborn. Okay, that's where I, that's that's kind of where I'm at, and I'm hoping when I go to Miami here. Someone will have that leaf. It's just so pretty. I love you. I love you. Oh, don't look at me like that. You're beautiful. You're perfect. You're perfect. Oh, I can't. I can't. I cannot. Right, I'm so sorry. Um, let me give it a little finger and see if it's moist. I didn't mean for that to actually sound so dirty. I'm really sorry. Behave. Behave. Not everybody on your channel likes dirty comments. <laughs> so sorry, guys. I'm really, I'm really sorry. That one, that one snuck out. I was surprised. I was also surprised by that one. That, that one got me too. So we're in, we're in this together. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little damp in there, so that's perfect. I'm not going to give it any water because the transition to pond will be really nice if it's just damp right now instead of wet. If they're wet going into pond, it it can almost be too much sometimes for them. But if they're going into the pond dry or, or moist or like almost dry, and then you, you flush the pond with some water, it does a lot better. I, I've noticed. Like, that's just kind of my own... Um, what I've noticed from my own experience doing it, but, um, either way, they, my, my philodendron seem to really adjust well to, to going into pawn. I've had none really do bad. Um, a couple that I didn't do in pawn actually died and that made me really sad. But also the tip of this was cut off. It's weird, right? Look, that's the new leaf. Don't mind my nails. I already know they're disgusting. You don't need to tell me. I'm waiting for Miami. I haven't done them yet. So I might, I think that tip is stuck together. So I might have to unravel it and just let it, um, oh, I don't even know where to put you. You're so perfect. You're so perfect. Get it girl. All right. So let's carry on here. This is gonna be a long video. So if you're, if you sit through this, I love you. Personally, I'm telling you that you are amazing for sitting and watching my video for so long. I appreciate you. I really do. 
tell me if you're here at whatever time this is, because I love you. Okay, this is a philodendron esmeraldense. Now, for like a year watching their live shows, I've almost bid on, God, loads. Like, I, I want to say at least 30 or 40 I've almost bid on. And I didn't. I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. But I saw this one and I was like, I have to have that one. That one's perfect. I think it's beautiful. And so I think maybe it was because I was supposed to get this one. And watch it be dead. Watch it be dead when I open it here. It's not. That would be silly. <laughs> Why would it be bad? Plants from them don't ever arrive dead. <laughs> That's silly. I'm sorry if you love them. I, I do love them. And I will say for a company um, that deals with so many um, customers shipping this, that, countries, they have incredible... I just spat something out of my mouth. Sorry. They have incredible customer service. I... It is the only reason... I came back to their shop is because their customer service and the way they interact with their customers during a live sale. I really genuinely think that that is, that is the best way to treat your customers. And I will keep going back because they are genuinely good with their customer service. They might take a little bit, so don't, don't expect to reply right away. They are busy. They're a company that has a lot of things going on. Um, they're also dealing with a lot of different languages, you know, they speak Spanish and we are all, there's people from Germany, there were people from Sweden, there were people from England, which is the same as Americans for language wise, obviously, but there were people from Thailand, Indonesia, you know, Korea, like there were people from all over the place ordering and they have to all know English. And a lot of these people have a very um, limited amount of English that they understand. So it is difficult for them to to read all of our messages and really know what we're saying. So I give it to them. I give them props for that. The folding of the leaves pisses me off to suck, to no fucking end. Like if we just add three more inches to the box, problem solved. Problem solved. Problem problem solved. You know, let me be your 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 box coordinator, your your manager on the boxes. Because like even this one right here, it's folded. It didn't need to be folded. It could have been avoided. My beautiful equigenera queen. I'll show you the leaf. It's fine now. It's recovered, but like I was genuinely sad when when it when I opened it and it was like that. So let's just take a look instead of me whining, right? I know I whine too much. Look, that's just who I am. Okay. Look at this though. See why I got it? Like it's okay. It gives me this leaf has been luckily not fold clipped where I, I it creates an actual clip it hair but this leaf is beautiful you know what it looks like it looks like that one up there which I forget the name but it's a cross between Patricia and um, Spiritus Sancti and it looks like the top of that but then it's it's like a, a shorter miniature version of the leaf even though this came first that came second but I do really like this a lot, and as much as my mom loves alocasia, and I'm collecting my alocasia now, for me in my own home, these plants are where my heart are. Like the philodendron, are where my heart are. Like I just, I can't get enough of them. I think they're beautiful. They're so tropical, and they just fill your fill your spaces so perfectly. I just. I can't get enough. And then, you know, obviously I have my cabinet, which is all the rarer alocasia and stuff that I don't have on display, but these guys definitely display plants for me. Like I just, it's beautiful. You, and it arrived stunning. This is perfect. I don't have anything negative to say about this. See, it arrived beautifully. Absolutely nothing negative. And of course you're going to get you're going to get sad leaves. Duh. They traveled from freaking Ecuador. You know, like it, it would be, I don't want to say a mean word, but it would be almost, what's a, what's a mean word in a nice way? It would be silly <laughs> to be the person that's like, well, I have a yellow leaf, you know, it's supposed to arrive perfect. No, that's not how it works. And I get that sometimes too. It's like, well, it traveled like across the country, my friend. What, what, of course it's going to lose a leaf. <laughs> 
like that's a that's a that's a scary thing for it to do. Imagine you go into a suitcase for a week straight. Your temperatures are not regulated. Your humidity isn't regulated. You're not getting water. You're not getting food. You're sad. You're being tossed around. Yeah, you're not gonna be fucking. You're not gonna be happy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But yeah, isn't this pretty? <laughs> no. I love you. You're perfect. Thank you. For being perfect. Let's put you here. And I do want to say thank you, everyone who has been supporting my planters after my, my freak out video. And I appreciate all the kind words that you guys had on that too. I know I've already said that, but I genuinely really appreciated that. And I was like in my head, you know, I made this video and I showed everybody how to do this. I wonder if anybody's even going to buy them anymore. You know, like that was my number one thing. I was like, selling at that point and I was really happy about it and then also stressed that people were going to be disappointed and then you guys just kept buying more and more and that makes me so happy so thank you I appreciate that that makes me happy because that's something I I love making and I love listing and having and selling so that's what I'm doing after this it's gonna go sit on my porch and and make a whole bunch that need to go out tomorrow morning I just feel so cruddy that I put it off so I apologize if you're waiting for yours it's coming it's coming, I promise. <clears throat> Usually I get everything out on a Monday and a Tuesday, but I just, I I really have put it to, to the side. So my health and my, my mental state comes first this week. So, all right, this one is, oh, I'm excited for this one. Actually, I think I have this one already, I want to say. I, I might not, though. I might have an, oh, I think it's that one there. Okay, I could be wrong. I need to go look at it, but I will after this. I think it was spelled differently, though, so it could be different. But let me stop and restart, just so I know. Oh, it's gone for so long. So we cracked open. Oh, I almost folded this up. My bad. My bad. We didn't open you yet. Ooh, this is a big one. I'm sad you can't actually see. I should have thought of that. Next time I'll film it on my table where you actually see the the bag opening up. I could aim the camera down, but it, it's like awkward. I don't know how to explain it, but... Ooh. Wow. You're so big. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. That's embarrassing. <gasps> Misty. Misty, look. Look, Misty. Oh, look. Do you see it? It's going to be our best. It's going to be our favorite plant. Is it going to be our favorite plant? Is it going to be our favorite? Why are you so cute? I love you. I love you. I love you. All right. All right. Cuteness aggression gets real. She left half her body on my, my mouth. Don't stand on that leaf. I won't love you if you do that. Um, she's a chunky, but she's been losing weight. I'm trying to get my cats to lose a little weight. I keep putting off showing you this. I'm sorry. It's, I'm doing it on purpose. Not really, but it feels like it, doesn't it? I, I just... I'm so nervous. It is that. I think it is for sure that plant. So this is a cross between... Spiritus and I want to say... Something. I think it was a urine, urine blah, 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 blah. I have to look it up for you. I'll, I'll put it on the screen because my phone's there and I can't actually look it up. But. <clears throat> I don't know how to. I don't know how to do this. I, I'm lost and I'm confused and I'm scared. There we go. Okay. That was scary. That was scary. 
little roots for such a big boy, huh? Damn. They folded this leaf. See here? They didn't need to do that. It was on the side. It shouldn't have been like... Anyways, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's perfect. He's beautiful. Look at this leaf. Guys, like this is... I don't, even, I don't know if you can see it. I can't see the camera, but... Hang on. Let me move this. this guy's offending my picture here. Look at that. I don't know if you can... Can you see it? Yeah, you can. Look at that! It's the, whole, this is the size of my torso! You guys, it's perfect! Oh, and this is the new leaf. They outdid themselves. I don't like that this was cut, but it'll be fine. It has a new leaf here, which I will, okay, I will say, um, when you get a philodendron in the mail that ships overseas, I really, uh, I know this is controversial, but I really recommend you cutting open the catapult of the new leaf. Uh, if you can, if you can find a nice seam, there's always a seam somewhere. If you look carefully, you'll find where you can slip in and release the leaf. What happens, I've noticed what happens is it almost locks up after traveling and the new leaf cannot emerge out of the catafil because it the catafil kind of hardens and dies um don't quote me on this okay but this is what i've seen so i've had a lot die now i open them and i haven't had any issues since my patricia a great example of that and i might show you uh what i mean by that but all right, I wasn't going to record this, but I figured I might as well show you what I was talking about. I'll try and add it in when I actually talk about it. But if you look down on your philodendron, you'll see there's a seam at the bottom of the catafold. Now you can see this leaf is already starting to get damaged because it's stuck in here. So hopefully when I release it, this catafold that's dying um, or got damaged will open and still let this leaf out. So I'll just pull off of the top. The top's the harder part. And you just kind of unseam it carefully. And then you pull it out. I cut like maybe here. And then if you just grab the top and pull it gently, it'll slip right off. But that way you avoid any unwanted damage to your new leaf and your new leaf can hopefully open, you see? So, I mean, this is also a controversial uh, planty topic, but this is what I do, and then I'll take a nice warm paper towel or cloth and kind of clear off this stuck gunk, and then hopefully he will open up real nice. Um, I know most of you already know these types of things about the philodendron, uh, but I'm gonna show you anyways. This is what I love about them, is under every catafol, there's a, a hidden backup leaf. So if this one doesn't make it, make it, this one's already started, and it'll already start growing as this one emerges out because it'll still be in the catafol usually while this stem comes all the way up and it will unfurl while this one's still cooking so this is the catafol for the next leaf and it will just obviously grow like a normal one would now i'm just going to leave it like this it should emerge out of that just remember when you're working or cutting any plant that's in the aeroid family and i mean most plants in general you want to wash your hands right afterwards this stuff is toxic to not only you but your eyes, cats, children, you name it, it's not good to get near your, your skin, open cuts. And if you're working with, like, with Monstera and you cut them or seed them sometimes, it will literally burn your skin. It'll feel like fiberglass in your skin. So you just want to kind of avoid that. Wash your hands right away. Maybe wear gloves just to kind of avoid any bad reaction with your skin. Finding a way to get in here, and you can, it's very easy, and you're not going to hurt the leaf if you're careful. Um, this has a little cut here, so we'll see, but this, see, this top is like dead here. That new leaf is not actually going to emerge through and it's a healthy leaf and your leaf is going to die in this little catafil if you don't release it. So like, don't overstress it. Just try and get at least the tip part off so it can push out. Um, but when it hardens, it, it can't push through it. And <clears throat> if you've had a different reaction or a different experience in that, that's awesome. But that's what I've genuinely and generally have had happen with mine. And I have a lot of anthurium, big ones too. So 
I'll have to do an Ethereum. Uh, not an Ethereum. Did I say Ethereum? Philodendron. Did I say Ethereum? I did, didn't I? I have a lot of Philodendron. So if I was saying Ethereum, I'm sorry. You know what I mean. I'm, I'm tired, okay? I'm not feeling right. But this is a Pangul, Pangi, Pangi Sunset. I think that one's a Pangul Sunset. I think so. So I think it is different. So I'm, I'm going to look it up. And when I look it up, I'm going to put the name right down here. If I'm paying attention to my video, sometimes I just edit without actually listening to myself, which is stupid. But just so you can see, like, this is my face to it. <laughs> it's beautiful. You are gorgeous, aren't you? I don't really want it. Now, this, don't get excited about this next one, but it is, um... I saw it, and for me, uh, plants that look real tropical are kind of why I like philodendron so much, is because they look jungly, right? Um, Alocasia, to me, don't really look jungly. They do if they're massive, but for the most part, they don't really fill a vibe in my spaces for me. Uh, Anthurium do to a certain extent, except Anthurium is so difficult when it comes to maintaining more than, like, two leaves. They seem to just especially the big ones they, they it's like they uh, they just eat all their energy and they get rid of the important things so i find it difficult i'm gonna move this my cat's like trying to roll on my my plant here so just put that there um but this one is a common one it's a common plant that's been around everybody probably has one in their home if you're a philodendron lover i got it because it was so big now i did struggle with my original one I had. I ended up selling it. So who knows? I might sell this one to someone in town. It's so big, but I want to see if I can make it happy in pawn if the roots are small enough. It's too big. I don't know what I'm going to do, but like I said, a very common plant. You're going to be like, that's what you got. That's, I would never have guessed. I would have never guessed. It's very big, at least in the picture. I thought it would be bigger than that. Actually, no, this is this is not accurate. This is not accurate. The top was rolled. So I don't know if you can see that. It was rolled. So I hope there's no... I can see there's leaves there. So... We don't need to go on about it. I've said it. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at your little curled in leaves. Why did they do this to you? They did you dirty, didn't they? <gasps> they really did do you dirty. Oh, no. Why? Every leaf is folded. <sighs> it's okay. He'll bounce back. He'll bounce back. He's okay. He's good. But this... So you can see... So this is a tortum. Like I said, very common, very big. I got him because he was big. Look at the curl of this new leaf coming up. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually going to curl, which is how they come up. They look like skeletons when they come up. It's really cool. Um, the leaves are bent, which really annoy me, but that's okay. I can see how this would be a tough one to pack fast, but like you can see the tips here, they're all, they're all bent in like this. I have a thing about my leaves being bent, okay? I'm sorry. Cosmetic, for no reason, just upsets me because it doesn't need to happen. Like, those are all bent. The, I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't even see it. There's so much happening here. But these on the new, the old leaf, I think it's actually an older leaf. Yeah, it's a smaller, older leaf. Has some, uh, I'm talking so quietly, sorry if you can't hear me, but isn't he beautiful? So I got him because he's got this such a pretty tropical palm vibe. And I can't keep palms in my house. They just die. They don't like me. And I hear that's like normal for, um, I think they're the Majesty Palms. I think that's their name. Majestic or Majesty? I think it's Matt. I don't know. Whatever. One of the palms that you get everywhere um, it just hates me and always dies in my house. But this is massive. Like, this is really, really big. I don't know if you can't really see it, but... <laughs> but so I wanted something more 
tropical to fill a corner and this will kind of do that palm like vibe without it being the difficulty of keeping a palm indoors so i hope he he bounces back okay i hope he likes pond because that's what i'm putting him in his roots don't look too big so the the planter might work he's nice and hard so it shouldn't struggle too much but you're so big i haven't seen like stems this thick before either that's crazy and it's a top cut, which I really, really, really appreciate. It always saddens me when you when you get a plant that you bid on and you think it's a top cut and then it gets there and it's not. And then you just know the next leaves are going to be so small. Like it's just, that's just how it is, right? It's going to be so small. And that makes me so sad having to wait and wait and wait for them to come back and grow big again. And then I end up selling it because I'm like, I'm not waiting for this shit to get bigger. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the tortum. Like I said, we probably all have them if you like in theory. Or I keep doing that. God, my head is so fuzzy today. Philodendron. I love my philodendron so much. I'm going to do a video on it. If you want to see a video on all of my big and the uh, philodendron, Jesus Christ. Sorry for my mom would smack me if I said that in front of her. Um, don't take the Lord's name in vain. Sorry. But yes, so I can do that if you guys are interested in a video like that. Um, I'm very proud of my, my, um, philodendron. So I would love to do it. I really would. Uh, and then maybe once these guys are just, I'm feeling a little better. These guys have settled in, you know, a week and then I can showcase them with that video. That'd be cool too. So school starts here Monday for my kids. So my days will be a little less consumed, um, depending on if I get really sick here, if I get COVID from my husband. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping me being on an antibiotics already stops that. I doubt it because it's not how antibiotics work with, I think it's a viral infection. So I could be wrong. I'm always bad about stuff like that. I'm sorry. But yeah, I think he's beautiful and I'm very happy, honestly. Um, to be completely honest with this order that arrived, I'm very happy with it. I was very sad a little bit about the first one. I was like, oh no, is this setting off the theme for the rest of these? Is, are they all going to be like this? Just kind of sad um, and rotten and um, got, uh, what's it called? Fungus, uh, fungal infection. But they all are pretty good apart from the bent leaves. I... I think they turned out great. Hi. Don't come into the video, baby. Do you want to come plug it in? Yeah. Okay. I don't think they can see you on here. Yeah, there you go. Um, I don't think... That's the only thing. It's just the, the bentness of some of the leaves. It just... It kind of upsets me. Because they can't get that... Like... Peeled very well. And it, it will inevitably probably just yellow and, and fall off. Like all of these ones, you can see they're all bent and... But with enough time, he'll make some new ones and it'll be full and pretty again. The one thing I will say about these is when they get pests, it is a goddamn nightmare. Oh, jeez. Did you stand on the kitty? No. I'm definitely ate my foot, right? Not just one on your foot. Um, I don't know if you heard her, but Misty, Misty. When, when you... Don't come into my camera though, okay? Um, I don't like them for the most part on here. Uh, when you even stand near Misty, the gray cat that I just had on here, she will yell at you like to remind you that she's there. So even this one right here. So even if you're close, she'll still yell at you because she'll think, I know I saw her. She'll still yell at you to like say, Oh, bitch, I'm here. <laughs> so it makes us laugh. She's so dramatic. Um, she does. But anyways, that's that for this video. I, like I said, Equigenera really came through. I really, I really liked these plants this time. They did great. If you're looking for, uh, larger plants, um, uh, at a pretty fair price, in my opinion, this, this wasn't fair price to me. I mean, it was, I shouldn't say it wasn't. Um, this was $60. So, 
they go pretty cheap here right now. But I think for this size, I think you'd still be paying probably $50, $60, 70 80 maybe. Um, shh, babes, one second. Okay, almost done. The other ones um, are, are pretty inexpensive. For the most part, I think I spent maybe 30 to 40 on each of the others, uh, 25 for the one. I have to look it up, but they're pretty good prices. So if you want bigger philodendron like I have, they're a great uh, a shop to go through or your live sale to go through. And if you've never done a live sale, I do talk about it previously in other videos, but it's pretty easy. You just fill out, get an account number from them on their page. You join a live sale. You put the your account number first, and then you put the code of the plant, and you get that if you're the first person. Like any um, bidding. Is he struggling to find the? Oh, he found it. I swapped all the cutlery around last night, so they're confused. Um, but yes. So if you want bigger philodendron at a good price. I would do it soon because winter's coming and that's when I had some of my issues too. So, you know, I would avoid winter sales, but they did heat pack. So I don't know. It's up to you, but yeah, I would go take a look at least and see because they have beautiful anthurium, beautiful, they don't have any alocasia, but they do have beautiful philodendron always great hybrids, great crosses. Um, uh, especially for philodendron cross species, really cool, really cool ones. I think you guys would like it. So make sure to go check them out. I'll link them underneath their, at least their Instagram page. And they have an app now, which is kind of cool. So, uh, I haven't checked it out too much. I will now and see, but you can find it in the app store. Um, but if you go in there for the first time, say that I sent you. Okay. Cause like that would be cool that would be so cool and if you get a plant tell me i want to know i want to know how it arrived too but anyways um my children are eating now so i'm gonna go uh thank you for watching i hope this was interesting and fun and i don't have any other plants coming because i am going away and i don't want anything to arrive or have my husband struggle to take care of anything while i'm gone so this will be the last one until after september 20th and hopefully I can make a video while I'm at the plant fair if my friends are okay with it I need to get their permission um, While we're there and looking around in Miami at the plant show because I think that'd be so cool And I'm hoping to find a spiritus a large golden dragon if possible um, There's some other plants I'm looking for but pretty much just a spiritus and if I can find one there, I'd be really, really excited. My mom's driving, so I'm going to send it back with her if I find one. Uh, if not, I don't know. But And if you guys ever find a large spiritus somewhere with a pretty decent price, tag it, tag it, tag me, okay? Do it. Do it. I know you want to. Um, but yeah, so thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, mainly because I want my storefront on my storefront so that I can link all of the stuff that you guys always ask for links for. I would really love a space to link it all there where you just have to click on one thing and you find everything. It'd be so much easier for you guys. So do that for me if you don't mind. I would truly, truly appreciate it. So would my mom. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.